of the tape for this middleweight fight. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Pistol. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Joe You ready to fight? You ready? Sports. And we are underway. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, straight punch. Trading clean shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing huh. the game. Can't feel good. Takedown defense is there. Tags him with that uppercut. position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Gotta watch his neck. Oh, and that looks tight. Arm triangle attempt. He's gotta get that elbow going forward. He's gotta drop his chest to the mat. Don't squeeze. Let your shoulder do the work and you'll get the finish. Oh, how good is that position. as he gets out? That is great submission defense. Keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Lands the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Get the ball here. You gotta be careful here. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of crouches. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Trying to get up, but he's moving his head pretty well. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Time oh, for the end of round one. Take a deep breath. Nice job out there. He's exhausted. Your ground control is unstoppable. Whatever you want to do down there, you can do. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight. Ready to fight. Not only for... Ready. The offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Well, missed on that one. Solid take that one. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponents. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. 
All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. His opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. What a fight. All right, well, he rocked it. They're going at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Takedown defense holds up. Under two minutes to go in our second round. His misses are entertaining. Closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. One minute. Fighter lands a jab. And he blocked the punch there. There's the horn, the round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool, cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Looking pretty swollen now. Oh, yeah, he's hurt really bad. Massive shot from the top. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Well, nothing in the unified rules says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. Making all these shots count. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now into his mouth. Gotta be careful here. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. Oh, how about a 
just what the doctor ordered. He gets back to the feet. John, it's like a Hail Mary. He needed to get up to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Oh! He's wobbling now. Exchange in the pocket here. So the blood really starting to flow every time that area gets targeted. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great place for Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight. I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Pistol! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. Are you going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? It's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.